New at 11, Reaching for the Stars. It's a story you'll only see here on NBC24. A local fifth grader is a semifinalist in a contest set by NASA. Very smart young man. The 10-year-old from Perrysburg has an opportunity to name the next rover on Mars. NBC24's Jay Hanna spoke with him earlier today. He's live for us in the newsroom. So, Jay, what name did he go with? Well, Ryan, if Zach Meyer wins the contest through future engineers, it will be called Amoeba which is short for Advanced Machine of Extraterrestrial Biological Assessment. Not even easy to say, not bad for a 10-year-old. Yeah, I'm kind of space crazy right now. When Whole Prairie Intermediate 5th grader Zach Meyer decided to enter a contest through future engineers, he let his love for science take over. The idea of naming something that's going to go to a place where no humans and few machines have been just completely fascinated me. He is a semi-finalist in a competition to name the next NASA Mars rover. There was 28,000 entries and three different grade levels, but his idea to name the rover Amoeba is one of just 52 remaining in grades 5 through 8. It could be looking for amoebas, and it's going to be helping o help opening a gateway on Mars, which possibly could be amoebas too. And uh, honestly, if you think about it, it looks like an amoeba moving around on Mars. It stands for Advanced Machine of Extraterrestrial Biological Assessment. The contest required entrants to name the rover and write a short essay on why they chose the name. Zach says his English teacher edited his essay and his STEM teacher has been helping him with the science behind the project. His parents have been over the moon on the idea as well. So they were my two biggest editors, I guess. And uh, they've kind of helped me along the way. Zach is a straight-A student and has found himself even more in love with space and NASA while going through the Mars rover contest. He thinks what they do every day is truly fascinating. They're taking a risk here. They're doing something they know could help us or could just be a total waste of time. But most of all, they're learning things. So yeah, I find that interesting. Yeah, the finalists for the contest will be announced on January 21st, and they receive an interview with the judges. There's also a public vote during the finals, too. So stay tuned to NBC24 to see how Zach does. First prize overall receives a free trip to watch the Mars rover blast off in 2020. Live in the newsroom, Jay Hanna, NBC24 News. He's a smart kid and also a Harry Potter.